Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, really rather black, uh, looks quite evil actually, um, Defender 110 TD5 XS station wagon that you can see behind me. One walk around video, one driving video, plus a bit of engine running, ac running action at the end. Um, hope you like the videos. Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 2003 uh, Defender 110 TD5 XS station wagon in five seater spec. Um, should be on an 03 plate, but it comes with the uh, the plate shown. Um, we've known this car before. We bought it from a company called The House Group, um, I don't know, three, four years ago. Um, and it had that plate on then because uh, it was uh, their corporate plate. Also, it's been wrapped in matte black, which was The House Group's corporate style. Uh, originally, it was silver has been wrapped in matte black, although the roof is gloss black and that was uh, painted, possibly the original roof color actually. Um, fitted with nice spec on this one. From the front, it's got front A-bar, which has been coated in Raptor, as has the front bumper. Um, steering guard, uh, front light guards, black checker plate on the wing tops, the modesty covers on the rear quarters. It's got a lovely set of, uh, pretty new I think, they weren't, they weren't on here last time. Um, sawtooth alloys with uh, Cooper STT Pro, Cooper Discoverer STT Pro tyres. Uh, Safari snorkel, some extra lights on the roof. Uh, it's got the excess full length side steps, it is an excess after all. Um, mud flaps all round. Dark tinted rear windows from the, um, the B post backwards. Adjustable tow pack, rear step, rear work light. And that's about it in terms of its external spec. Internally, being an excess, it's got half leather, um, full carpets, um, air conditioning, which probably could do with a recharge. Um, I did drive it the other day and it was quite warm and it was it was coldish, but not wonderfully cold. Um, but it's absolutely, but it's about 32 degrees here today, so we'll see in a minute. Um, uprated stereo, obviously the heated seats and everything, um, smaller steering wheel, centre cubby box, and in the back, um, this one's in five seater spec. In the back here, it's got, um, we sold it to a, a media company and they've built sort of false floor into it. So that in here, you've got two uh, hatches where you can hide things away uh, underneath the floor. All quite nicely done, actually. In the bag there, there's just a selection of spares that are uh, happy to come with it. Um, that's the jack. But, uh, yeah, it's been quite nicely done in the back here. Right, let's um, take a walk around it. One thing it has had recently over the past couple of years is a new rear cross member, and I think centre cross member as well, but I will confirm that when uh, um, when I look at the history. Adjust the tow pack, as we say. Right, let's walk around it from the front. Now, the wrap, I think, was done about six or seven years ago. Um, so it is showing its age a little bit in one or two places, let's say just there and stuff. Um, and a couple of marks and what have you on the bonnet. Being matte black, of course, it does show every uh, every mark. Um, and we around the vent flaps and things, the uh, the wrap is sort of coming away, has, has come away showing the original silver underneath, as you can see there. Um, around the front end, to say the bonnet, the uh, the front A bar and everything been done in Raptor. So you've got a couple of marks on the front on the front, but. Uh, Bit of rust and stuff on the lamp guards, but no more than that. What's that there? Looking down the near side, actually looks very, very straight down there. So there are a couple of marks in the wrap, but um, not excessive. But in terms of dents, it's all very good. Underneath here. A post, scuttle corner, screen rubber looks pretty good and the screen looks pretty good as well. Uh, we have got a slight scar in the roof just up here and a bit of paint loss, so I think this is the original paint on the roof. Um, maybe, maybe not, I'm not quite sure what they've done there, but there's a bit of a scar just up here on the uh, near side of the roof. Near side door is all very good on the outside. 
Uh, this is the earlier type of door, so we'll see what it's like under here. A little bit of corrosion in the base of the passenger door, not excessive, just a little bit along here. You can see a couple of flecks of rust just here that come out of the bottom of the door, but it's not too bad. Um, show out the side of the bulkhead there. Um, we obviously can't get underneath to show underneath the air conditioning system because it's all uh, blocking our way. Um, passenger seat, all in good shape, just a little bit of scuffing. Usual little tiny bit of wear on the cubby box corners. Um, headlining is all nice. No sunroof fitted to this one. Dash is all in pretty good shape. As is the door card. B post. Rear side rear door again pretty good. Um, not rusting in the usual area here. Um, base of the door actually feels okay. Post. The seats are quite nice. Small mark just there on the uh, near side rear wing. In fact, that's coming off. Um, underneath here. Someone's got a strimmer out in the field next to me. Around the back end, here's a new cross member. We've had a look in the back, just check the rear door. The rear door is the later type, so perfect on the bottom on the bottom edge. A couple of scratches in the rear door card. Looking down the offside again, looks really straight down there. A little bit of paint loss on the tub corner trim there. Um, offside rear wing is all okay. Again, we'll have a look under here from the... Yeah, it's had a cross member with extensions. You can see the join there, which is the proper way to do it. Um, offside rear door looks okay from the outside, frame looks good there, and under there, seat post, um, driver's door looks fine from the outside, a couple of nicks in the wrap, just one there and a couple just down the very bottom of the door. Um, offside front wing. Okay, a couple of tiny bubbles in the wrap just there on the wheel arch eyebrow. And up here on the scuffle corner. And then driver's door. Let's have a look at this bottom frame. Actually, the driver's door is in pretty good shape on the bottom edge. A little bit of bubbling just coming up on the uh, sill side there on the driver's door. Up here, everything looks good behind there. That's the original colour. And driver's seat's in good shape. Quite nice order. Nice Momo steering wheel. Showing, well, we'll say it's done 105,000. It's uh, showing just over 104. I think when we sold it last time, it's done 91. So. Uh, Nothing used, but that's the idea. Um, so there we have it, and uh, not much more I can say about it. My name's Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com. Right, quick video of start up and running on this 2003 Defender 110 TD5 XS. Lights come up as they should. And go out as they should apart from the ABS light which shouldn't go out until you're doing five miles an hour which it, it does and obviously the other red light is the handbrake light. Um, we've just been out for a run in it so you can see the temperature's up to uh, up to where it should be. Nice running TD5 just run in it just under 105,000 miles. 
see the original colour under the bonnet, silver. So it has had a black wrap, this one. But no funny noises, all doing what it should. Pulls well, boosts well. Gets on with the job. There we have it.